Hey everyone, so I've been busy lately updating all of my games with ad mediation. I think it's no secret by now that this year has been pretty bad in terms of revenue, so I had to look over my options and see if there was something I could do to improve the situation. Enter ad mediation. Now if you don't know what that is, then imagine you're selling hot dogs at 4am on a Saturday and you've only got one left. Google shows up as usual giving you a dollar but all of a sudden Unity and Facebook arrive. So Google gets anxious and hands you another 50 cents and you end up selling for 150 because well you're desperate but also that's okay because turns out that Unity and Facebook had no money to begin with. Point is you earn a bit more from your ads which isn't bad if your games already have a decent player base but I would like to try to end this year on a higher note. My goal was to release Bouncer Basketball 2 and hopefully make some money from that but with the ambitious plans that I have for that game it's at least a good six months away from being anywhere near release. Which leaves me with the only viable option being returning to Gladiopers for an update. I could add some more features or even a new game mode but honestly nothing is gonna bring players back to the game more than an online multiplayer mode. Before you get your hopes up this is a shot in the dark. I've always stayed away from multiplayer because I didn't think I was capable of making it and it's still very likely that I'm not but if I fail then well that's what devlogs are for isn't it transparency so what I'm gonna do is to remake a prototype of a gladiopers fight this time with multiplayer in mind the reason I do this is because having no experience with multiplayer it would be near impossible for me to start with an already huge project like gladiopers so I first need some practice to learn the ropes plus there are so many things that I would do differently now in a game like this so the prototype I make might serve as a base for a future project okay so I made a quick character here heavily inspired by the art style of Disney's Hercules I wanted to try something different from my usual pixel art this time around and while I don't think it looks completely terrible I'm pretty sure that if I ever do reuse this project for a future game I'll change all of the art assets that I'll be making in this video. So after importing all of the pieces into Unity I got to work. Remaking the basic movements and attacks took about a day and while there are still things I need to do to improve the controls I was happy with the progress I made. So I decided to spend the following day painting a background for the environment. I was going for a dungeon looking background or anyway some sort of castle interior but I think the wall texture here looks more like a floor because I was just painting from the top of my head whereas I should have looked up some reference images beforehand instead. giving myself three days to remake the game before actually starting to work on the multiplayer. So after making some clothes for the character I had another day to implement hit detection, health and simple visual effects to give the player some feedback to their actions. I'm really regretting the art style by the way, it's looking like one of those episodes choose your story games. Anyway I made a sword swoosh and a blood effect and wrote this hit detection code which I would like to find a better solution to in the future. Right now I'm using an interface for the character's health component and just checking with a get component call whether or not the object that was hit implements that interface. Which is not ideal but I can't come up with anything better right now. It works though and I've also made it so that the UI updates whenever a character gets hit. So far so good and I think I'm ready to get started on multiplayer. I'm gonna be using photon because it seems somewhat easy to implement. I've already spent some time reading through the documentation and a few examples from their website. So I'll get straight to work by making a simple main menu from where you can connect to a random opponent. Alright, so I want to show you what I've come up with. We first connect on start to the master server and make the play button interactable when we receive a callback saying we're connected. Then when we press the play button we attempt to join a random room but since none exist we create one in the on joined random fail callback. Then when we have created and joined a room we display the name of the room we joined. Since we didn't specify a name for our room, Photon generates a random one for us. But this isn't a tutorial so let's just jump straight to the part where I brought another player into the game. Thank you. 
So I've now got the movement, animations and hit detection synced, but you can see that it's pretty laggy. This could be due to the fact that Photon, or at least Pun, doesn't have any local online multiplayer solutions. So everything gets sent to a regional server before being received by the other player, even if you're on the same Wi-Fi. Now I don't think this is the problem however, since the ping is still low and the choppiness of the movement instead leads me to believe that there's no interpolation going on to compensate for the lag. For some reason I thought the Photon view component did this automatically, which is one of the reasons I chose Photon over other options. Granted, it does make a lot of other things easier, but I don't know, all of a sudden I'm a bit torn over my decisions here. Ultimately though, I want to do one more thing with the multiplayer here in this game because it's good practice regardless of what I end up using. So since in most games there is some kind of character information a player wants to let other players know about, I'll create a little color selection here so that you can change the color of your shirt. Then I'll make it so that it's sent to the other player and displayed properly on their screen as well. Now that that's done, I think that I've got a solid enough foundation to stand on as I move on to Gladi Hoppers. So far I've learned how to connect to an opponent, assign ownership of a character to a player, sync movement and animations, send events containing whatever info I want it to contain. However, I still need to figure out how to do some lag compensation and determine a winner if both characters die at the same time due to lag. But this is all something I'm gonna do off camera. If you want to follow the progress, join our Discord channel where I'll try to keep everyone up to date. Finally, I know some of you will wonder about multiplayer in Bounce Basketball. It's definitely going to be harder to implement due to the fact that there's a ball that is a shared object between both players, but it's safe to say that if I get Gladiopers multiplayer to work, it's gonna be a game changer for everything I do. I'm really excited for the potential that comes with knowing how to implement multiplayer in games, and I'm glad I finally felt comfortable learning it. So thanks for watching this video, see you next time, bye bye.